welcome to the Marion County Sheriff's Office Newsroom. I'm Lauren Latillier. And I'm Lieutenant Ryan Robbins here with your daily crime report first at 5-ish. Happy Pi Day. It's a big deal. Pi Day is, uh, it always occurs every single year on March 14th because Pi is, is in math. It's 3.14. That's what it equals normally. It's the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter according to mathisfun.com. Uh, I prefer to celebrate Pi Day differently. I like the circumference of this circle of this pie. <laughs> I think it's more uh, mathematically important for my belly to understand the importance of Pi Day celebrated through an actual pie. So uh, I'm going to eat some of this pie today to celebrate this mathematical holiday. Um, please join me at home if you'd like. Mmm, that was good. Mm. I'm, sure, apple pie. I'm sure a lot of math teachers are, are kind of... Well, I was just never very good in math, but I was really good at lunchtime. <laughs> that was my, my best subject matter, which I'm still succeeding <laughs> in excelling in. So. Oh, well, I'm going to get started with a crime report if you want to get down on that. Yeah, no, go right ahead. Okay. Don't, don't let me bother you. Okay. <laughs> well, someone entered an unlocked vehicle. Mm. Parked at a home in the 8400 really block, <laughs> 8400 block of Southwest 92nd Place, in the on top of the world community. Once inside, they stole prescription sunglasses and cash for a total loss of $410. It was also discovered that multiple other mm. unlocked vehicles <laughs> were parked at the homes in the on top of the world community were also burglarized. Lock Very your doors, good. keep it to yours. Absolutely. Last night, a blue 2014 Mazda. RX-3 was stolen from a home at Redwood Track Terrace. Total loss there is going to be valued at $15,000. I get the, all the unlocks today. So an unlocked 2012 Maroon Ford Explorer with the keys inside was stolen from a home in the 8900 block of Southwest 98th Street Road. The Florida Highway Patrol was able to locate the vehicle, which was abandoned in Pasco County. Hmm. We also had a gray and black 2016 BMW motorcycle stolen from a driveway in a home in Juniper Loop Run. A total loss there is going to be estimated at $10,000. Mm. Well, a 2000 silver Nissan Quest van was stolen from a home on Fur Drive Terrace. Total loss is about $3,000 there. However, Deputy Giuliano observed a suspicious van in Silver Springs and upon running the tag found that it was this stolen Quest that we're talking about now. After backup arrived, a traffic stop was attempted on State Road 40 east of the Springs and a pursuit was initiated. The van fled east into the boat basin and stop sticks were deployed successfully as the van attempted to exit the basin but continued to flee. A second stop stick attempt was made but the van tried to avoid the sticks and crashed. Seven juveniles, all from Silver Spring Shores, were located in the van ranging from ages from 12 to 16 years old. Two of those juveniles were charged with fleeing since they were apparently changed drivers during the pursuit. Well, that's pretty hardcore. And a total of five were charged with a grand theft auto. Great job by Deputy Giuliano. Um, I got some pie here at the office. If you'd like to come down and eat some, that's great. <laughs> on pie day. You've earned it. Excellent on pie day. <laughs> so uh, that's all for this Monday. Please like us and share us on Facebook. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for Tournament Tuesday. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>